Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Danielle and I am a wedding photographer based in Oxfordshire in the United Kingdom. Firstly, I just want to apologise um, for the mum hair and the cocoa melon. I have a child sat on the sofa. She's supposed to be napping, but as all one to two year olds do, she's one and a half. Um, she's decided that she didn't want to nap. I literally started pressing record and uh, she woke up. So here we are. Let's see how we get on. I might be deleting this later. Um, so yes, welcome back to my channel. If you managed to catch the last episode, um, which was just a welcome video, just explaining what I'm planning on doing over these um over the next over these next couple of videos um then do feel free to check it out there um it's not that interesting we've had a little bit of an equipment upgrade since then as well um i've managed to get myself a nice light ring which is currently reflecting in my glasses so i apologize about that there's a lot of distractions going on here um and also a mic as well because it kind of sounded like i was inside an airplane or something it wasn't great <clears throat> yep so getting back to it first things first I have gone through uh, chapter one of the first book of the Social Media Marketing Guide for Dummies book. Um, and it was really insightful. It gives a good breakdown overview of what social media marketing is, who it's good for, why it's good for businesses, um, and just gives you a really good overview of what you should be doing, basically, um, in terms of different marketing channels and loads of different explanations it, it is really really good it's really insightful um in the first chapter it seemed to mention that it had some different downloads so i tried to go ahead and find these downloads but i really struggled i think um the one that i was looking for maybe it was just listed like sort of as a blog post rather rather than a download and then the other download that i was looking for which was i think a social media um marketing business plan um, that download was no longer available. Like, as you can see, there's me just sort of looking for everything and really, really struggling. So I did decide to take matters into my own hands and I found a website that I could download some different marketing, um, a bit like business plans and that, that kind of thing on. I've still yet to fill them out, so I will be filling them out shortly. But the other thing that I wanted to do as a start like with this chapter is just is just do a complete um sort of stock take if you will analytics on my website um traffic uh pinterest instagram and facebook and tiktok as well um so i will in a second i'll just bring all of that up for you to see so the first place that I went to look to try and find all my analytics uh, was my website. Now, I built my website with Wix and I do maintain it myself. I am in no way a professional and I am learning stuff every single time that I go in and edit my website. Um, and I've got a lot of plans as well for my website. If you want to go and look at it, please do not rip me apart. You can go and view uh, my website using the link here. So moving on. As um, you can see on the screen, I'm just looking at my dashboard to get all of these all of these figures, and then I input in them into the table, which I'll show you in a second. So yes, yeah, so I wanted to take a look at the overall traffic, um, and I'm talking about the unique visitors here um, to my website. So. I thought if I can just get a handle on all of these different uh, platforms, like what the starting um, traffic is for for each platform and the engagement and stuff, then as the year progresses, I can see how using this book has impacted the growth really of my business and all these different channels. So firstly, we have got my website, as I said, we've got overall unique traffic, um, traffic that comes from Facebook, um, direct, so I don't even know what that means. There we go, something for me to find out. Traffic coming from Google, um, from Instagram, from Pinterest, and from Rock My Wedding, which is a wedding directory that I'm with. <clears throat> So over the last month, you can see those figures there. The last three months um, were quite 
what well, well, worked too bad. I, I guess I don't really know what's good and what's what's bad for my business, but that's something that we're going to be diving into too. And uh, you can see the figures from the last 12 months in total and then from the previous 12 months. So obviously from here, you can see that the last 12 months I'm down on traffic, um, which thinking about it, that has a lot to do with having a baby and going on maternity leave um, and just basically neglecting all of my social media and my marketing, which is why I'm trying to obviously stop that um, from happening. And hopefully next 12 months will be will be amazing growth. Um, so if we scroll down and, and take a look at Facebook next. So uh, reach over the last month, 560, content interacting six. Ha, huh, I have not been posting on Facebook. Um, I've got 335 followers on my business page on Facebook. And in the last month, no one has clicked on any external links. In the last three months, we're at 1.4K, content interaction 24, blah, 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 blah. Last 12 months, obviously, it's going to be a bigger figure because that is taking over the whole entire, um, whole entire period. Um, now, the previous 12 months, I've got 17.2K reach as opposed to 7.1K reach. Now that, I believe, will be taking into um, account all of my figures from any ad campaigns that I did with Facebook. So I definitely did ad campaigns in the previous year, but not within the last 12 months. So hopefully that's where that's from, not just a complete drop off. Um, so the last 12 months, everything has been organic. And like I said, I have not been consistent and the plan is um, to experiment how consistency is going, going to really grow my business. Now, Instagram, I think we I just went for reach. Um, so the last 12 months, the reach was 8.9K. The previous 12, 12 months, again, was a lot bigger. It was 13.4K. Maybe that sort of coincides with the ads that I was running on Facebook because maybe people were seeing me on Facebook on the ads and then go into my Instagram to check me out. Um, but I basically just need to get that right back up again. The last month, 855 is really, really low for me. Um, Again, like I said, I have been really inconsistent, but my check-in, my monthly check-in for analytics is coming up in the next couple of days ago, uh, days or so. So we should immediately be able to see what the last month of posting sort of consistently. I would say every two to three days, at least three times a week has been doing. Um, and I'm trying to incorporate a lot more reels as well into what I'm doing. So if we just take a look at Pinterest, this is a big one for me that I really want to take a look at. Um, but I think there's only a small section about it in this book. Um, I think it's a really underutilized platform when it comes to social media marketing. So let's take a look at this. We've got, um, <clears throat> you can see the figures here clearly for yourself, uh, 666 impressions, 12 engagements, outbound clicks, one, saved one, total audience 370, engaged audience nine. Now I know that that figure now is sitting at I think it's like 1,100 or 1,200 for um, the total audience. The engaged audience is way higher as well. I'm actually starting to get a couple of saves on the posts, on the content that I'm creating, and a couple of outbound clicks as well, which is obviously absolutely fantastic. And I have been posting... I have scheduled posts going out every single day and I don't think I've missed a day in the last two months. So by posting consistently to Pinterest every single day for the last two months, I've already seen incredible, incredible growth. Um, and that's evergreen content. Pinterest is a, it's a search engine. It's not like Instagram where you put a post out and then it just dies off, um, gets lost in the feed and you can bury it and it's never to be found again. These posts that I've got on Pinterest, which some of them have been gaining traction, are some of them are like the first posts that I ever posted to Pinterest. Um, and they're obviously all my own wedding images and, and everything, all the SEO and everything is, is I'm trying to obviously target my, my audience that I want to market to. Um, but yeah, things are just starting to pick up um, with Pinterest, which is fantastic. TikTok, I'm fairly new to TikTok. Although I have been on it for a couple of years, I've not really used it. I think I had like one video posted and I started using it again last year. Um, <clears throat> so I've just gone for video views, profile views, likes and 
um, comments really so hopefully that starts to pick up as I start using it more and more because obviously I've got no information for the last 12 months so I'll have nothing to compare it to um, when we're doing our sort of yearly check-in in a year's time or less than a year's time now so there we go um, so that's the overview of all of my figures <laughs> Now, towards the end of the chapter of the book, um, page 21 actually, it goes on to talking about developing a strategic social media marketing plan. Um, so it's all well and good I've taken a little audit of all of these figures. I now need to go ahead and actually put those numbers um, through the process basically, develop my, um, my social media marketing plan and look at some goals. Um, about where I actually want my business to be because obviously the long-term goal is growth and therefore more customers, um, a more successful business, all the rest of it. But that's very, very vague. So I need to actually sit down and look at the numbers and think, right, on each thing, like how many followers do I want? What engagement rate do I want? I've taken a look um, recently and my engagement rate is, is absolutely shocking. Um, just because I'm so rubbish, basically, um, <laughs> with being consistent. And I know that my customers, they want to see consistency. I'm a professional wedding photographer. I work with quite high-end clients, if you will. I'm, You know, those types of people, um, my customers, they, they want to see someone who is dedicated um, and is showing up for them on social media Um and obviously consistency across my social media is going to reflect back in the type of person they're looking for. They want someone that can can continue that consistency on their wedding day, in their photos, in their videos and, and all that malarkey. So um, as you can see somewhere on the screen um, is the social media strategic plan template, which I downloaded. And I will drop the link where I downloaded that from for you. Um, so I'm going to set some quantifiable, quantifiable objectives for each platform um, and obviously check in with that each month as well as we go through the book. Um, I'm going to really identify my target audience, my vision, my mission, um, who I am as a company, what strengths I have, what weaknesses I have. I already know that social media is a big one of those weaknesses and, and just getting outside of my comfort zone. In terms of costs, I'm not planning on running any paid um, paid ads. So if you're looking to learn about paid ads, this is not the place. Um, it's purely focusing on organic growth. So every, everything that I'm doing is going to be trading my time for it basically. So yeah, I'm not gonna be paying for ads. So in terms of investment, I'm obviously keeping that investment low. So hopefully my return is going to be quite high um, I suppose actually the investment, and we put a lot of time into this, so the investment's going to be quite high in terms of time. And I'm all about trying to help other mums, other people in my situation, people that who don't come from a marketing background um, and don't have the time, oh, don't, well, do have the time, don't have the financial availability to be able to go out and, and hire people to help their, their businesses grow. So I want to help you guys basically grow. And if you're, if you know more than me, then feel free to skip on and go and find a video um, that's going to teach you more. But this is basic level stuff. Um, I know there are plenty of people out there who do not have the first clue about where to start with their social media and their marketing. Um, so this might be a good place for you to start somewhere where you can follow along. So I guess in that case, maybe I should give you some homework. Um, go and do a full audit of all of your social media platforms today on how many followers you have, the traffic you have to your website, where it's coming from. That's really important. I had... Um, no idea at one point that I could even get traffic from Pinterest and knowing that and working on that is going to be huge for my business, I think. We'll see. Um, so yeah, go ahead and go into a complete audit. Also, if you can download this social media um, strategic plan as well, um, fill that out, see what you can do. Um, always feel free to give me a little follow on Instagram as well or Facebook. And if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help. I tend to be one of those people that 
um, putting it into practice myself, rubbish that. If you want help and guidance, I will procrastinate on my own work and help you and guide you all day long. That's what I'm not actually parenting at the moment. Yes, like I said, she is sat in front of the sofa. Hey, Flo Flo. Anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, next time we're going to be on chapter two. So in that chapter, um, they're going to be going through estimating the cost of customer acquisition, figuring sales metrics and revenue, managing and converting leads, breaking even and calculating return on investment. So again, that is very heavy on um, ad campaigns, which you pay for. So I will definitely be focusing on the managing and converting leads aspect um, of it. But if if I can go through some of the other stuff, I will. Maybe I'll make a better plan. And hopefully next time, young Florence will um, actually sleep through. Thank you for listening, guys. Um, be sure to hit follow and uh, find me on my social medias. And I will see you guys soon.